Hi Roger, thanks for watching. So I just wanted to send over this little video for you so you could see my method on how I go about getting actual tangible results that we can quantify. That's not just going to be in some spreadsheet or some chart where I just throw some random figures at you. We can actually see what's going on behind the scenes of the website with the traffic and where it's ranking and then I can show you the improvements that we can make. So to do that, what I do is I just did a quick search here, just say Roofing Company Rhode Island, and I take the top two companies that are being listed in here, uh, as well as your website, and I put everything into this tool that I use. And it shows me all the information that Google finds on your site that it uses to determine your position and ranking, and then it rates its strength and trust on a scale of 1 to 100. So just quickly looking over some of these numbers, you can see why these websites are listed at the top of the results well above yours. But let me just go in a little bit further detail on what these mean and then how we can improve them for you. Now, when Google is determining how to rank a website, it uses two different factors. The first is what's called the authority or trust that it has in your site. Now, this basically just boils down to a popularity contest because this authority is gained when other domains or websites refer back to yours and then they create a link. So to give you an example, if say local channel 12 news did an article on their website for the top 10 best roofing companies in Rhode Island. And in that article, the reader could click on a link and it would bring them to your website. That's considered one backlink from one referring domain. Now there are lots of different types of websites that can link back to yours, any kind of blog or posting sites, press releases, one really important type and that's got a lot of power is called a citation. Now a citation is any time that your name, address, and phone number appear in an online directory. Those include Yelp, Yellow Pages, Better Business Bureau. These directories are usually always free. It just takes some time to find them, register your business, and then input all the information exactly as it's shown in Google search. So you can see the top competitor here, he's got a lot of different websites that are linking back to his. And even the number two position has a decent amount uh, of websites. However, there is something to note here is it's not just a matter of the quantity of these links, it's also the quality of these websites. So some of these websites are a lot more spammy than others, they're not trusted by Google, so we need to be going after authoritative websites that have trust, so that way it can pass that trust along to you, along with that link. And they also have to be relevant to the service industry that you're in. We can't just have, like, say, Pizza Hut linking back to you because Google understands that you're not slinging pizzas and that wouldn't pass any authority. Now, one of the ways that we check that is, without getting too technical, is there are a few different types of link, a nofollow and a do follow. So as you can see, out of your 13 total links, only seven of them follow, meaning only seven of them pass the trust from the website that you're linking to back to you. Uh, and then if we go into a little bit even more detail, I can see, well, let me show you this first, actually. So I can show you some, some timelines here where I believe when you started working with the new company, see, we had July, we got about three websites that were linking back to yours for a while. And then right about May, they started coming up, you know, one or two a month. Now, at that rate, it's going to take you a while to get up to where you need to be. But I'm, I'm assuming this is what the company is doing for you. But if we take a look at what you're getting for that, of the, like I said, the 13 that you have, only seven of them actually follow. And a lot of them are just, see, May 22nd. This is a citation, so this is free. This is, I don't even know what this is, but this has zero and zero power. So if it's got zero strength, that means they can't give you anything because they've got nothing to give. Same with this one's got zero. Um, so they they are getting a few links for you However, nothing's really very powerful that's going to help you out much against the competitors. Now, this guy right here obviously has a ton on his website, but he also does a lot more things. He does roofing, siding, windows. So not all of these are from or for specifically for roofing, but you know he's got 80% of them are do follow, 333 of them. So he, somebody's definitely doing some decent work for this guy in understanding how to transfer power to his website. So... Basically, what I end up doing is going through all the competitors, seeing what they have for backlinks and what kind of websites are linking back to those, theirs so that way we can either get the same ones for you, meet them or beat them and get the same amount of power and then just get some extra ones. So that way this, this is all just basically boils down to a race 
and you have to get a little bit more than the next guy. Now, the second factor for ranking the website is the content on the page. Now, for some reason, this is only picking up one keyword on your page, which I didn't think that that was true. So I decided to do a search for Roofing Company in Blackstone because that's where your, your business is out of. And I went through all 12 pages of Google and you weren't on any single one of them. The only thing that came up, this. The only thing that came up is on page three, MapQuest came up for you. I don't even know if anybody's even using MapQuest. And then again on page six, this Fermania came up, but your actual website did not come up. So then I went to Roofing Company, since it's in your title, if you look here, the title of your webpage is Roofing Company North Smithfield. I don't know if that's from you or from what they're doing. But then I started going through these listings and I did come across you on page three. So at least it did come up in the organic search results, but I can honestly tell you that nobody's going to page three. Uh, I don't know if this is on the rise or whatnot, but uh, like I said, there's, there's not many people that are gonna find you unless they're searching for North Pithfield specifically, but in roofing Blackstone and in roofing Rhode Island, nowhere to be found. So let's take a look at the webpage and see what's going on. So as far as the setup, Everything looks pretty good. We've got all the information right at the top with drop downs. Everybody can request a service right from here. Um, what I would suggest is having these clickable because a majority of people are using mobile format nowadays on their smartphone. So we want to have this as one click to call where they can just push that and it automatically puts the number into their dialer. Uh, also, what I usually recommend people is this header takes up half the screen. So there's not much left that you can scroll and see. So usually, once you get start scrolling down, this thing usually shrinks down to about a quarter of the page and everything gets a little bit smaller or it's just, you know, your logo and just these so people can navigate and see this a lot easier. But as far as Google is concerned, it doesn't care what your page looks like. It, it's, it's not going to look at pictures and be able to, to determine what the picture is of or what you're doing. It can only read and understand text. So it's going to come in and count all the words of text on the page. Now, generally, I recommend all my clients to have a minimum of 1,500 words on a home page because that's what Google will understand as having a lot more content. And then the more content that you have, the more of an expert you seem, and then the more likely it is to recommend you. Now, however, because this is a race, if your competitor has 1,500 words, we got to put 2,000 words. You know, we just got to outdo them. So while it's counting all the words, it's also searching for those keywords. Assuming that they're not in a picture, which these might be coming up as and might not be counted, but we're searching for all those services you offer, any kind of locations, things like that. So like I see, I don't know if this is you or not, but I see them, you know, putting, trying to put in location keywords here and there. But the issue is the, when Google is counting all the words and searching for those keywords, the number of words on the page total really comes into play because you're only allowed to have one of those keywords for every 150 words of text on the page. So just listing out these words won't qualify as a keyword because you don't have any content to back them up. And then furthermore, the content relative to the keyword has, well, I should say the content has to be relative to the keyword. So if we put something in a, in a what's called a header tag right here saying, you know, best roofer in Rhode Island or roofing company, Rhode Island, which is, you know, what people are searching for. So we want to use those exact match keywords. This whole content article needs to be about roofing company in Rhode Island. Otherwise, Google will look at it as not being relative and therefore it won't qualify that keyword. So how this relates in search results is you know, what's first is going to come up is what we call the map pack. I did see that you are, you do have a Google business profile because I did see it. I was kind of hoping, and I'm doing a little bit too much searching today. I was hoping that I'd see you in here since this is your hometown, uh, but I did not. So we're a little bit further down. Yeah, so there are ways to optimize this listing so that way you can at least get into the top of the map pack so that way you'll be listed in the top three on the page. Uh, you know, there's your services you offer, the locations, the hours of operation. 
You get a 750 character description of your business that we'd like to put some keywords in there. Then we want to be taking photos that are geotagged and located within your search areas, as well as posts on your Google profile on a regular basis, get as many reviews. And then also you want to get as many of those citations, your name, address, and phone number. You want to be listed in more directories than anybody else on this list. So underneath that, this is what's called the organic search results. This is the part where the more authority or trust that Google has in your site, the higher up in the list you're going to rank. So this is where getting a lot of those links or referrals from high quality websites will help you climb and outrank the competition. So then once you're here, if I can use another website as an example, just to show you how it works. These are all the words and phrases that are being typed into Google search as well as the volume. So you can see here, if, if you were on page number one for roofing companies, Rhode Island, 200 people a month would be seeing your website. Now we're usually pretty conservative and Google Analytics says about 10% of total search volume converts into potential leads for the business. So now you're looking at upwards of 20 people that might be either calling or sending you a contact us, you know, form submit for getting more information. And then depending on what the close percentage is for customers that reach out to you to jobs that actually close, you can see how this can definitely add up to some search volume and revenue at the end of the month and the end of the year. And then we repeat that same process for all the highest volume keywords. We do a whole lot of research to find all the right keywords and make sure that those are being included on the site and then put in properly so that way they can be quantified and qualified with the proper amount of content so that way Google will pick them up. Now, I apologize that this was a little bit longer than I anticipated. However, I just wanted to see, to you to see, you know, what you're getting currently for your investment. You know, if if it's been with them for four or five or six months, you should definitely be seeing a pretty decent improvement by now. But I was hoping I'd see you, you know, better off in some of the search results. So, you know, when it slows down a little bit over the winter time, if you want to sit down, we can have a conversation and I can show you how we can rebuild some of this. So that way we can get more of those keywords. Uh, I basically make an entire list of all the highest volume ones that we need to, to hit. And then we redesign the site around having these. And then once we do that, we just go to work with getting as many of those qualifying referring domains, those other websites to link back to you. And then we can start competing with other companies and making sure that you're going to show up in the organic search results, which will get you all that search volume and all those calls coming in the business. So that way you can get the second crew going uh, and you can definitely hit the ground running come next springtime. So you've got all my content information, you know, you feel free to get in touch with me. We can discuss this further whenever you're ready. Appreciate your time.